Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Dr. Twisted's Toy Time. Okay, first off, I wanted to do a little channel update for the next two, three weeks. I'm probably only going to be doing maybe one, two videos per week. I've been doing a lot of work on my website, trying to get that all finished, and I still have quite a bit of work to do, so I want to take the next two, three weeks to just bust ass on that and knock it out. Okay, here we go. I found some pretty neat stuff this week, and I want to share. Okay, first off, my wife came home, I think it was maybe from Walmart or the dollar store, but they had these cool sticker packs. So she picked me up these Star Wars stickers. And these Jurassic Park stickers. So I thought that was really cool. I think they were like a dollar a set, so well worth it because I like to put stickers on my comic cabinets. And now for thrift store finds, went to this, I think it's a Humane Society thrift store. It's out by my work. And I found this guy, and it's really cool because they still had the tags. So I got the Hunchback and Dracula. And I also from that thrift store, I found this Halloween mask. Which every time I find a cool Halloween mask, I like to pick it up because I have a pretty big collection of masks. I like to do my Halloween videos and such with them. I found this Warwind user manual I thought that was cool and I didn't know if one of you gamers out there needed it so I picked it up so it has some pretty cool creatures and such in it all kinds of stuff full of pictures and whatnot and the only thing it has like a pencil written in there 50 cents the spine came undone but I'm just gonna glue that back and it'll be mostly not good as new because there's a little rip down the spine but otherwise it's in really nice shape and what else did I find there I found this cool bag of skull charms get a close-up of one of them I thought these would be really cool for customs Maybe masks for some of the figures, or my wife likes doing earrings and such, so they will be used for crafty projects. And I found this, I don't know if that's like a Mickey Mouse glove or something, but I thought this would be cool for maybe an art project. This thing does turn, or the hand turns, so. Like gear looking thing, so I'll probably use that for an art project. I thought this was funny. A little hot dog train car. So I picked that up. I think. Got another little toy. Oh, I got a Blues Clues salt and pepper shaker toy, but my daughter took off with it. So I also found that there. And then at Goodwill. I found the Wizard of Oz here, so I thought that was cool. It looks like he came with everything but his hat, but I mean he's in really nice shape. He even has his little chain and shoes and everything, so that was cool. And my favorite was this gizmo. It's a Nika, a NECA gizmo, and I found this Toy Story alien. I think it's huge, but I have an army of those guys of all different styles and kinds, so whenever I see a cool one, I'd like to pick it up. They also had a plush one there, but I didn't get that since I'm not really into plushes. I have a few, but if I don't have to get them, then I don't. 
Now on to the pickups. First, I picked up, I watched T-Biz's video, and I didn't even see this one in the display. Because I was, when I was standing in line the first time when I picked up the Joker toys and the Solomon Grundy. I looked back and I saw the regular version of Batman, but I didn't see this one. And then T-Biz did his video, and I really liked the look of this one, so I had to go back and pick him up. So I got him now. I will be taking him out of the package. And I also found this Toy Story of the Time Forgot dinosaur figure here to go with the other one that I got. He was also on clearance for $4.50, so I thought that was a good price. And I picked up this Turtles Karai Serpent figure, which I've been wanting her, so I finally found her. So that was awesome. And oh, the Felix, the cat, I also found that at Goodwill. Still mint in package. The package has a little water damage on the bottom by the feet. I don't know if I'll be taking them out of the package. I might. I probably will because of the water damage, but I like that package. So I might do something with it. Because the back of it also has all the Felix the Cats. And there you can see the water damage down there. But that was the toy pickups. And then I got a couple eBay pickups. I finally got skull face of the head poppers and I don't like putting the heads all the way down on the popper things because these mechanisms can break easily and all mine have not broken yet knock on wood so when I display them I just either put the head on top of the peg there or put the head down on the ground to keep them poppable fresh so now I, I finally finished off my head poppers, so I'll be doing maybe a video on those. And then I picked up these other three overseas exclusive Mad Ball squirters. So I've been trying to finish off this line. I have half of them now. I need like five more, six more. So I picked up these three here. And then I also found this, I think it's Bone Brothers, bendy figure with a plush type body. I just thought he was really cool and he was super cheap with a buy it now with free shipping so I couldn't pass it up. I wanted to get him and use one of the toy t-shirts I have or something, dress him up, maybe do a custom paint job on the glasses and hat. I'm not really thrilled with the the color scheme on it, but I th just thought it was a really cool figure, and he has some neat tinnies. Oh, and also, how could I forget this cow and chicken vehicle here? It's one of those ones you push down, and it zooms across the table, which I tried it the other day, and the thing flies. But there you go, there are this week's toy hauls. So thanks for tuning in. Until my next video, peace.